Welcome everyone. Let's get started making our hanging bird bath. I'll list all supplies needed below in the description box. We're going to start with our 12 inch wire wreath form. We're going to remove the inside metal support. Using our pliers, we're going to open the ends of all six of the center supports. I just slip the end of the pliers in like the little metal loop and then I just kind of worked it open. The goal is to remove the center ring. So I just kept working around the circle until I loosened them enough so that I could slip that center ring out. Now that the center ring is removed, it's time to flatten each of the ends that you opened back together. I moved around the circle making sure to flatten all the supports. And now you're going to turn the wreath over because the bottom is going to be our top. And now you're going to grab those six little tabs that we flattened and you're going to bend them downwards. The water basin is going to be sitting in the center. So you need to bend these tabs far enough down so that the basin can clear them and sit flush. I'm definitely not a bird expert, but from everything that I researched on the internet, it says they like between one and three inches of water. I decided to use this clear glass pie plate that I found at a thrift store for a dollar. It seems to be the perfect depth for our little bird bath. I just made sure that it cleared all the little tabs and that it set flush in the center. I'm using two packages of the glass beads that I found at the Dollar Tree, the blue and the clear. And what I did was I used my Dawn dish detergent and I washed all the beads and I washed the pie plate. This just kind of ensures that there is no residue, dust or any oil on any of the glass. After everything was dried completely, I'm now going to attach the beads with this all-purpose adhesive. I'm not wearing gloves, so I'm going to use this little wooden stick in case I need to move anything around. So this is the fun part and you can let your creativity kick in and make any design that you would like on the bottom of your bird bath. I'm using this all-purpose adhesive and it is amazing. I decided to make a little flower in the center, so I put some of the glue on the pie plate and then started arranging my beads, making sure that the flat side was down. They began to adhere to the glass in seconds. I was really surprised that this worked so well. I originally was going to use the E6000 because it does say that it will attach glass to glass. However, I found this adhesive, so I decided to try this. If you end up using E6000, please let me know how it worked out and if it really does attach glass to glass. I chose the blue and the clear beads, but I think any color would look absolutely beautiful on this little bird bath. One thing that I did notice when I was gluing the beads down is that they are not all a uniform size. So as much as I wanted a perfect pattern on the bottom, that just wasn't going to happen. But I was still pretty happy with the way it turned out. I did run one row of the beads around the bottom edge. I only ran one row of beads because I think that if you ran two, they may possibly interfere with the little metal tabs. And then the little glass basin won't be sitting flush in the holder. After I finished gluing the beads, I let it sit overnight so that it would set up. And I can't tell you 
how tightly the beads are attached to this plate like they are not falling off. This all-purpose adhesive is my new go-to glue for any difficult projects. I used a damp paper towel and I just wiped off the bottom and the sides to remove any little residue that might have been left over from the glue. After the glue dried, it did leave kind of a white haze between the beads. It actually looks like I grouted the bottom and I really like the way that it turned out. The hanger for our bird bath is going to be one of these Dollar Tree hanging wire basket chains. And all you're going to do is just remove the three chains from the basket and then save the basket for another day and another project. Once it was detached, I sprayed it with the Oasis Blue. I then took my wreath form and completely sprayed both sides with the Oasis Blue. I let both pieces dry completely. And now it's time to assemble our bird bath. There are six supports on the wreath frame. All you need to do is attach one chain to every other support. Once you attach the first two chains, you're then going to slide your little glass basin in between the metal form. Then just attach the last chain and you are done. The weight of the glass plate and the beads makes it heavy enough so it doesn't move in the base. I hope you had fun making this bird bath with me. I always have a blast hanging out with you. And if you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. And before you go, check out some of my other videos. I'll see you soon. Bye everybody!